Hi everyone, welcome to Control Alt Craft, Rose with you, and today we have an odd video. Uh, this video is in fact a, what would you call it, a speed draw perhaps? Uh, not quite like a speed build on The Sims, but it is a sped up time lapse of me doing a graphite drawing. Uh, the drawing is of a contemporary dancer. I've done a ton of drawings of dancers in contemporary and weird poses. I don't know why they inspire me, but they really do. It's one of my favorite things to draw. Um, I just, I think I like the way the human body can contort in like such weird positions and then like being able to like flex my uh, my shading skills in like in and around the muscles and the, and the weird shapes that the human body can make. I don't know, it's just kind of fun um, in a weird way, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, so this one took about 40 minutes and I've sped it up, I think like 800 times. So it's just a quick little video to show you, hey, I do do some crafty things in my spare time. I know all I tend to do is make videos about like video games, but I do love arts and craft. And so I decided to, uh, to film this one this morning. Uh, I have done a whole collection of these. I usually do them in A3 size paper, but this one was just done in A4 because one, it fit on my desk, and two, I couldn't find my A3 uh, pad, so we used the A4 one instead. It's done with graphite pencils 2B and 5B on cheap A4 art paper from Kmart. <laughs> it's I, I don't use anything expensive or fancy to do these. It's just sort of a little flex of the uh, creative muscles early, early in one morning. Uh, the camera, ang camera angle isn't great either, sorry, uh, but um, flipping it kind of only made it worse to watch back, so you sort of see me drawing it upside down. Uh, think of it as if you were sitting across from me on a table and you were like watching me draw this. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I've been drawing since I was a kid. Uh, Mum and Dad used to renovate houses all the time when I was a kid, and I was an only child for six and a half years of my life. So like when I was a toddler and stuff, I didn't have brothers or sisters to play with or, or hang out with. Um, so I was kind of on my own and mum and dad, well mum and dad were there, right? Like dad would always go to work, but mum was a stay at home mum. Except that when they were doing lots of renovations, I couldn't be around because I was a toddler and you can't have toddlers running around with, you know, high powered electric equipment and like uh, hardware items and stuff, you know. Uh, so they needed me to be able to sort of entertain myself while they were doing their renovations. And so they bought me <laughs> a Sesame Street crafts table. Uh, it was the coolest thing ever for me as a kid. We were really poor as well. So it was like a major thing for me. So we had the Sesame Street craft table and they bought me like a huge stack of paper and like all these crayons. And I spent most of my days while they were renovating drawing. And just sort of, yeah, spending my time sort of creating fun colors, fun images. And that's sort of how I spent a lot of my toddler years. Um, and I loved it so much, you know. I, I loved doing anything crafty. Anytime mum would buy us something crafty to do together, you know. It was just, it's always been something that I've had a very big interest in. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting because the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's in Proverbs 22 verse six. And it's interesting how like 3,000, 4,000 years ago, people were saying that. And even in today's society, we have science to now back that up, right? Like uh, there's so much research that's been done on children with neuroplasticity and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But basically, it's like a legit thing. If you teach kids skills when they're young, you know, it doesn't just have to be morals and values, though those are incredibly important, but skills as well. Then when they're old, they won't, they won't sort of stray from that. They'll remember that. They'll keep growing on it. They'll learn from it. They'll go back to it. You know, they'll grow in their capabilities in those areas. And so I think a lot of my skill, other than the fact that perhaps it's a, it's a gift from God himself, could also be attributed to the fact that I invested that skill rather than just, um, you know, leaving it alone. <laughs> but that I spent so much of my childhood drawing and, and practicing this skill that um, now I'm older, I can draw things that are a little bit better than stick figures and, and bright colored flowers. <laughs> 
but yeah, so that's a bit about me and, and why I like drawing so much, I guess, and where my, my drawing has come from. Um, from a mix of God and, and of course my upbringing and my past and my childhood. But we're nearing the end of the drawing now. I'm just finishing the final shading on the final leg, tidying up around the edges. Um, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I can't believe it only took me 40 minutes to, to smash out as well. I guess because it's a smaller one. I'm used to the massive A3 sizes that take a little bit longer to complete. Um, usually about two hours, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, we're about to enter a photograph so you can see it the right way around. And um, here it is. I am, yeah, really happy with how it turned out. It'll definitely be going into the collection. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye! <laughs>